NCA level 2 organic chemistry, we're going to be looking at isomers. You have two types of isomers that you're going to be looking at. The first one is structural isomers. Now structural isomers all have the same molecular formula, which means if you have two molecules which are structural isomers of each other, they will have the exact same number of each type of atom. So for example, they might both have 4 carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atoms. But the bonding sequences of those atoms could be different. So that means they actually have a different structure. So here are two examples. Both of these have 4 carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atoms. So they've got the same molecular formula. But you can see pretty clearly that the bonding sequences of those atoms are different to each other. So we call these two molecules structural isomers or constitutional isomers of each other. Another example is I could have had C6H12. And this one here, all three of these isomers have six carbon atoms and they all have 12 hydrogen atoms, but the bonding sequence of those atoms is different to each other. If you're an expert in chem, you'll know that there are a lot more isomers for C6H12 than what I've shown you here. Now, geometric isomers still have the same molecular formula. They have the same bonding sequence, essentially, but the arrangement of atoms in space is going to be different. Now, for geometric isomerism to occur, you must have a double bond between, say, two carbon atoms. So that's shown there. Each carbon atom must also have two different groups attached to it. So in this example, in the bottom left, I've got this carbon atom with two different groups. On my other carbon atom, there are also two different groups attached to it. Now, to classify these two isomers or to write down a name which would distinguish these two from each other, it would be that if you have identical groups on the same side of the double bond, then it's cis. If you have the identical groups on opposite sides of the double bond, then it's trans. So, here's more examples for you. I've got the first one as trans and the second one is cis. Second pair, let's have a look. We have got two identical groups on the same side of the double bond, so that's cis. And in the second one, the identical group is on opposite sides of the double bond, so that's trans.